Hello guys, on this video I'll be presenting to you the new and improved, newest and improved install scripts plus I'll be going through also in updating your cool Hyperland dots I'm gonna walk through to it, stay tuned So two weeks ago I've been introduced by DDAPS on the Whiptail and he have told me about the consideration of using a whip tail on the install script and here I am now that I'm gonna demonstrate it to you so for this video I'll be I'll be demonstrating that to you using a Fedora which uh, of course is installed on my PM so along with the whip tail I have also added a automatic cloning and installing so you just need to run this command let's say copy paste here so as you can see in here when I try to run the whip tail is not installed because this whip tail is needed so it will try to install it for you and of course after adding your password it will download and install Newt for Fedora and then it will run this installer as you can see it's a little bit better it looks more um, what I call this more informative more user friendly and the reason why I run it in Fedora is because I wanted to show you something if you have a GDM installed so by pressing OK and of course it asks you would you like to proceed or not so if you just no then of course it will exit so by running it again and then yes and then see in here it's showing that the GDM service is open so meaning your option to install SDDM and SDDM team has been removed that is because there's a lot of cases where in some of the guys especially ubuntu they try to install the sddm but they have a gdm running it messes up the installation installation so your option to if you have a gdm already installed sddm and sddm team you will not be able to select it and then of course if you have a nvidia it will also pop up in your option of course this input group is an option and it's necessary to for the keyboard states that the caps lock and so on so press ok so now you have this option so instead of the usual yes and no before this one you can just use a um here just press the space bar for all the things that you want it's pretty straightforward so add user to the input group install a gtk teams it's required for the light function and do you want the script to configure Bluetooth for you? You want the tuner file manager, AGS for desktop overview. For those who don't you don't know the desktop overview, this is the desktop overview in which also I will put a link down below for the demonstration that I have did it be a few weeks ago. Okay. So then of course uh, they are CCL, Pokemon. And if you're installing on the ROG laptops, I'm offering this because I have an ROG laptop and which maybe it helps for some others. And then, of course, this download and install pre-configure hyperland.files. Now, if you did not select these dots and press OK, it will remind you that you have not pre-selected the hyperland.files. That is because a lot of cases or there are some cases in which they install using the install script but they didn't add the pre-configured that files and then they come and ask a help to my github or even on the discord and only to find out that they, they have not installed the that files which so it will offer you do you want to continue or no and then of course if you forget about that you can always press return and then it will go back again to the choices so i'm just here I will not pre-select all and as you can see in here since I had a GDM running the SDM is not available 
So okay, pressing okay. And then of course, uh, final confirmation that if you press yes here, it, the script will automatically run. And if you press no, of course, it will go back again to the option. So let's just do it now and press yes, then it will run by itself. And then of course, later on, it will ask you for your password because it changed. For example, if you choose the, the adding it to any input group or changing the C shell to C shell, it will ask for your password. Then basically, this is just the same. You could see in here that um, uh, what the script is, is doing, was trying to do. And of course, I have the option also to hide this and not it show it there. However, in my opinion, it's better that if you can follow what the script is doing. That is because, let's say, the script is assigned to install one by one, and then if it's not installed, it will install one by one the packages. And then you could easily follow if, let's say, the script, um, the script did not manage to install that particular package which I set to install and then of course later on when the when it downloaded with the dots it's again it's still a usual yes or no but I tried to I tried to change it also to whiptail version but it's a little bit difficult because you see the copy.sh which designed to install the dots it's there's a lot of things going on in there, in there, and I try to make it as as um, flexible as possible because the copy.sh is gives you a lot of option to restore or to let's say replace and so on. In which later on I will be also using that to demonstrate to you how to upgrade your dots. So I'm going to fast forward the video now and then just demonstrate to you once it's already gives the message that is already installed and then it will ask you to reboot and then you just need to reboot and so on. Okay, let's go with the updating of the dots. See in here. I always really, really recommend for you to go to the wiki. There's a lot of information in here, and especially for Debian and Ubuntu. You have a one part in here. Now let's go with the install, copy, and update. You have one part in here for Debian and Ubuntu Hyperland. That's now remember again, Debian and Ubuntu you need to follow this, especially for the branches. For Ubuntu 24.04, you have a different branch, which I will demonstrate to you now, show it to you. See, this is specifically only for your dots. You cannot use any of this, or you can, but you will have a lot of errors. For other Ubuntu 24.10 or the upcoming now 25.04, you will be uh, downloading it from here so okay just remember that to follow this I been asked a lot of times Debian and Ubuntu and then another heads up for you please follow this because a lot of times really a lot of times which is kind of annoying at some point that it's been like going over and over you ask to come on the discord server and then only to find out, find out that you have a Debian and Ubuntu in which you have a different branch. I made it like that because, again, the Debian and Ubuntu, you have a lower version of Hyperland and some of the settings, the newer settings now, is not compatible for an older Hyperland. Okay? And I always recommend, again, I highly, highly recommend, especially if you are not following. You see, I like to put a lot of things here on the chain slugs like for example um, there are like additional packages needed all that kind of things if you don't want to follow this that's fine but to update your dots highly recommend to download the distro hyperland install scripts 
this ones okay so i'm gonna demonstrate to you now arch hyperland arch linux because i'm using a catchy os it's been my test bench and then just rerun it i mean here cloning it but if you don't want to reclone just change directory to this distro hyperland so let's say cd arch hyperland you just need to run this again this is very important git stash because i had a case before wherein he's just running a git pool it didn't really download the update so by this is just now see um this is try updating the distro hyperland now after you update let me just move to other workspace then you just need to run again of course ch mode plus ins install sh and then run install.sh and as you can see in here you will have this but when you are only updating you just need to select the dots you don't need to pre-select everything which you have done it before but even though even if you pre-select which you have already before it will still um i mean i designed the script so it so if the package is already installed it will not reinstall again because it's already installed so then press ok and then this one will of course it will run all the necessary packages that i set to install it will just again install and if the package is already installed as you can see in here it's just skipping this is just going through again in which this will um just install the packages which i set to install in order for the update to run or so you will get the update so again uh, so again of course this press ok so on then if you want to be veeam and again so it's pretty straightforward it's not really a a rocket science to understand so this one means that if you have already if you know if you're updating and there's a already a ags installed in here it, if the script is detected that there's, there's already a ags in there you simply have the option if you want to replace it or not if you're not sure and you have not done changes in the config suggest that you just press yes so one by one kiri rofi uh, sway and c uh, waybar as you can see in here it's adding a creating a backup after that and then of course see here <coughs> i designed the script so that these monitor profiles say here monitor profiles is automatically uh, restored animations if you have changed or added any animations and of course this wallpaper effect this is um, the current wallpaper monitors.com this by the nwg displays workspaces and the pipeline this this automatically restored and on top of that on top of that see in here that you found a in environment variable so let's say on the hyper user configs it found that there is a from the previous backup so if you want to restore then you have the option to restore but again if you are new and you have not changed anything don't restore it because sometimes i'm doing some changes for the for making the dots a little bit better so if you are not sure don't restore it okay so by just pressing enter you could see in here that it's keep restoring the e environment it's the same with the laptop display just press no no if you have not changed anything decoration so no 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 and of course some of the user scripts in here 
if you don't want to restore again don't uh, restore and then of course the, the script is it is is designed to detect if you have sequoia 2 now this uh, sequoia 2 this is the sddm team and it asks if you want to apply the current wallpaper which again i said so if you don't want that just press and say, say no and then of course the wallpaper if you want to redown it again and then here at the last part it found a multiple backup for ags this multiple backup backups is checking the that config directory okay it's not nowhere else because it's creating a backup before that now i made it design that if you delete the older box up it will only delete the older so as you can see in here let's say this is the older backup this will be i mean kept it there as a backup which was the latest when you run this copy sh so want to delete so i press yes as you can see there the um previous backup was deleted so how i how i name it ags of course this is the ags a backup and it was backup march 8 and this is the local time let me just zoom in more so the naming here this is the name of the backup and then backup backup at 0308 this is the march 8 11 38 system time okay see this is the system time not a UTC time this is your system time or local time if you set it to local time of course and then same thing there's a btap so again i will demonstrate to you btap i have a two backup here march 8 and then march 7 so if i set to delete march 7 got deleted okay so it's pretty straightforward you just need to read what is the messages in there and then there you go so great it's already like uh, updated and then you just need to run to reboot and that's it it's pretty straightforward updating so i don't know I really don't know how could I improve more the docu documentation with regards to the updating of the dots. So if you have any suggestion, please feel free. Um, feel free to submit a recommended changes on the wiki because I honestly don't know how I could improve this more. If you wanted or if you want to contribute, for a, a different language please i could i don't know uh, i could add in here you could translate this put it to your local language i could translate and maybe add a place on the wiki for a local dialect version okay so that's just about it and and then just a little bit announcement here i don't really have plan for the dots plus i'll be going to work again in in the near future maybe the updating is will slow down but let's see it depends because i highly appreciate if you just submit a pull request or fi filing an issues for example telling me the ideas then maybe at some point i could slowly slowly work on it okay so thank you very much for watching the video and for those of you who haven't subscribed of course please subscribe and then of course um, again if you have any suggestion please feel free to submit a merge request on the my github and yeah so that's about it thank you very much and have a good day till next video take good care now bye bye